Hey guys, it's Jen. I run a tutoring business specializing in standardized test prep. And over the past few months, I have been teaching exclusively online. I've learned a lot through experimentation that has really helped me up my online teaching game. Today, I want to take you behind the scenes and show you my setup. So here is a full view of my at-home tutoring setup. I have a lot going on, so I want to take you a little bit closer and show you exactly what I have. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And the first thing you'll see here is my double monitor setup. I find this to be especially helpful when I do my video conferencing with students because I can see them on one screen while on the other I can pull up any documents I need or screen share anything with them. The next thing you'll notice is on my double monitor there I actually have a dedicated webcam. Now my computer does come with a webcam but I really like having a dedicated one. First of all, it's really good quality, and I find that once I set it in place, it doesn't really move around, versus if I just use my laptop, if I accidentally knock the laptop, you know, it's gonna shift the view. And this way, I just find it to be a little bit more professional. Moving down, we have the uh, writing tablet. Let's see if I can take you a little bit closer here as well. So my writing tablet comes from a company called Wacom. They're really a market leader in writing tablets like these. This is amazing for when I do screen sharing with students. I do that a lot to help guide the lesson. And with this, it's almost like writing on a notebook. I can show the students exactly how to work through a problem, take them through my thought process, and I find that the learning this way is a lot more effective. Just for fun, I have a student cheers mug. I got this from a friend as a secret Santa gift and it's been really fun to use that. And this part might be a little bit hard to see, but in the back there, I have a dock. Now this dock I just got pretty recently and it I got it because I really wanted a way to hardwire into our network. I find that Wi-Fi can sometimes be a little bit spotty and this just allows me to have that peace of mind knowing that my internet connection is as quick and as reliable as possible. I picked this dock in particular because it also has a bunch of other ports. So in the back it has a VGA port which is what my double monitor needs in order to hook up to my computer and it also has a bunch of usb ports which you guys know you can never have enough of i connect my tablet to it you know if i need a mouse for whatever reason i can do that as well and all that goes on the dock all i have to do is plug that into my computer and everything immediately is hooked up for my actual computer here, this has been a lifesaver in my business as well. My computer is a Surface Book. I think it's a Surface Book 2, actually. But what I really like about this, especially for tutors, is it has a couple of functionalities that really serve us well. So for one, if you notice to the left of it, I have a pen. It's magnetically attached to the laptop. But that pen, if I'm traveling and I don't have my tablet with me, I can just use that pen and directly write on the screen. Same thing when I'm screen sharing with students, that is really helpful. Uh, this laptop in particular, you can actually detach the top and use it as a tablet. So that's not something I have really done for my classes, but it's just a cool functionality. It's more portable that way. So in the back, it's nothing crazy. I just have some pens, markers. Um, I have a calculator for when I do my math tutoring. And then in front there, that's my mic. If I'm doing a video and I need to do a voiceover, that mic is really great for that purpose. This is the Blue Yeti mic. It's super great quality, especially for those of you just starting out in video making. It's not too expensive and it really gets the job done bring you down here and just show you this. So this is my planner. And as digitized as I am, and as important I think it is to be super well versed in digital products, I for one still love the occasional writing things down by hand. And I really like writing things down when I am brainstorming. So this for example is my YouTube page. It's what I use when I have an idea and I can't really get to my computer quick enough. I just wanna jot it down. It's also my check 
checklist for all the things I need to do for each video that I post. So that's really fun. It's also a great creative outlet for me to decorate and uh, you know, do my mind mapping. So if anybody is interested in that, I do recommend that kind of a process. So that's it for my tutoring setup. Now I would love to hear about yours and what you like to do, maybe the same or differently from what I have. So please leave those in the comment box below. So there you have it guys, all the tools I use to help me make online tutoring more effective. I will link everything you saw in the description box below, but just know that you don't need to go out and buy everything all at once. I would uh, prioritize and maybe pick up a webcam, especially if you have a lower quality laptop that doesn't come with one or has one with a very low resolution. Over time, you can build up your toolbox. I started with just my laptop and the webcam that came with it. And over time, I've really refined my process and found the tools that really work for me. If you found this video helpful, I would love it if you could give the video a like and share it with your friends. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.